All right, what's going on, y'all? So since it's been a while, I thought I'd give y'all an update on where I've been, you know, how that last push went, and then what I'm up to now. So the current training split, current diet, and then current um, PD cycle. Um, so if you guys have been following along, you know that um, this last push, um, you know, I was really, really trying to gain as much mass as possible. Um, if you guys have been following my journey, you know that I went pro in men's physique, but um, you know, I'm trying to bump up divisions. So I went pro in men's physique in December of 2021, and I was 182 on stage, and I finished out um, this last year in mid-December at 240. Um, so we put on quite a bit of size over the last year. Obviously, not all of that's muscle, um, but a good amount of it was. Um, so I'm very happy with how 2022 went um, in terms of muscle mass, so we're gonna keep that rocking. I still have quite a bit of work to do before I get on the pro stage in a new division. Um, so, you know, I'll tell you guys what the plans are coming up. But for the last push, if you guys followed it, it was mainly a um, test and MPP cycle with a little bit of master on thrown in. Um, and with that, it, it did work. You know, I, I had a ton of food thrown at it over the last month of the push. So from about mid-November to mid-December, I was at well over 5,000 calories a day and pretty much just throwing food at it um, to get the weight to move up. But I was sold out for about that whole month at about 240, 241 um, and frankly got to be pretty miserable by the end of it. You know, being completely stuffed day in, day out for months on end, it, it does get pretty tiring. So um, once that cycle ended and that push ended, um, I decided to pretty much have a health and deload phase. So with it, you know, I dropped all compounds out except TRT. I dropped down to 200 milligrams of test only, no GH, nothing else in there. And then also dropped um, calories down to more of a maintenance level at about 3,800 calories. Um, and this maintained me um, by the end of the health phase. I was maintaining about 228 to 230 on a daily basis. Um, and then also with that, I did um, have a bit of a, a training deload. So I didn't drop in intensity at all, and I didn't drop individual training session volume, but I added in rest days when I felt like I could use it. So I took in a lot more rest days than what I was doing with the push, which during the push, my training split was push, pull, legs with arms on those, rest, push, pull, arms, legs, rest, repeat. So I was hitting everything twice in a nine day period. And then during the health phase, you know, I would add in at least an extra rest day, maybe an extra two rest days in that nine day period. And it did pay off. You know, I felt like I healed some of the joint issues and just being beaten up after a big push phase. Um, I healed a lot of that. And then I got blood work back and my blood work, frankly, was fantastic. It was some of the best blood work I've had over the last few years and it was actually better than the blood work I had when I was a natural ultra runner. Um, so I was very happy with that. And um, it does go to show that, you know, the vitamins you take, the food you eat, the doses you run, how long you run the, the compounds, it does all matter. You know, I've been tracking my blood work um, pretty religiously over the last few years and um, all of it does matter. Um, everything down to literally you know what you're eating how clean you're eating does affect a lot of things you know the vitamins you take the organ support um, and then you know don't be one of those guys that's perma blasting you know i see all these guys now running these long cycles and not coming off and giving their body a time to break or running mega doses and if you guys have been following me for a while you know that um frankly i'm more into moderate doses um and not these just mega doses with that being said we are now going to be ramping some things up a bit um so for the current plan, um, current training, our current training split is changing. So over the last year to year and a half, I did run that push, pull, legs, rest, push, pull, arms, legs, rest, repeat split, and absolutely loved it. I felt like it was um, perfect frequency. You know, hitting everything twice in a nine day period is great frequency. You, you recover in time to hit the body part again um, at full intensity and then recover in time for the next session. With that being said, I was getting to the point that my legs just were not recovering in time. So hitting legs twice in a nine day period was becoming a lot. So I played around with, you know, possibly hitting most upper body uh, body parts twice in a week and then hitting legs only once a week. Um, the reason I didn't decide on that is right now, um, when looking at my body, overall I'm feeling pretty balanced. Um, if anything, I would still like my legs to come up a bit more. As you guys know, from my ultra running days, the legs were the hardest things for me to have come up. Um, they are getting to the point now where I do feel like I have a pretty balanced physique, but I don't want to have upper body be um, twice and um, legs only be once, a two to one ratio. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding in an extra arm day. So it's going to be push, pull, arms, legs, rest, repeat. So I'm now going to be hitting everything twice in a 10 day period 
um, and that should definitely help with the recovery issues. Um, so I've got that right now. My um, calories are right over 4,100. I've got about 575 grams of carbs. Um, I believe 70 grams of fat. He yeah, has 70 grams of fat and 300 grams of protein. So it's just over 4,100 calories a day. Right now, I'm holding 234. Um, and we're just slowly going to be tapering up the calories over the next few weeks. And that's going to be kind of in line with how I'm tapering up the cycle. And I'll get to the cycle in just a second. So I didn't used to do this. Usually, I would just go from TRT to whatever my cycle was, pretty much max doses. And then when I came off, I just went right back down to TRT. What I've been doing the last couple cycles um, and what I'm doing now is I slowly taper up the doses over a few weeks. Um, one, you know, I feel like it's much healthier. Two, the body gets a lot more out of it. So you're actually able to get more out of those tapering up doses than if you were to just immediately get to your max doses or dosage. Um, and three, you know, I, I do feel like the body actually utilizes the food you're giving it in a little bit better way when you do this. Um, but it's not just throwing a bunch of stress at your body all at once. Uh, because being on cycle, that is very, very inflammatory to the body. And the higher doses you give it, the more inflammation you're giving it. So the more stress you're putting on the body. So um, I'm ramping it up. What I have planned for this is frankly only a test primo and GH cycle. So I think test is going to be in the range of 6 to 750. The reason I say that is 600 has been about where I've been putting my test. Um, 750, I've not stayed up very long. I basically just test, uh, tested 750 for a couple weeks. Was fine with it. Um, so that's where I'm hoping we'll end up um, You know, when we come to the max dosage. So for test, we're going to be about 750 and we're going to build up to 600 primo. Um, I'm thinking that's going to be a great ratio for me based off of my last cycles and what I've run. Should be a very, very clean cycle with clean gains. Um, and then with that, be running four IUs of growth hormone per day. Um, so not a huge cycle, nothing crazy, but definitely still the dosages that, you know, we will absolutely be making progress. Um, but that's the plan moving forward. You know, like I said, you know, the calories are going to be ramping up. As we're ramping up the doses, we just started. Um, so, you know, it's definitely going to be a journey over these next 16 weeks with this. Um, but I am back on here, guys. Um, it's been a while. I've taken a break. I had a lot of stuff going on this last year, a lot of stuff going on with the business. The coaching business is booming, doing really, really well. Um, that's been taking up a lot of my, my energy, but I'm on here now. Um, the next video should definitely be a full day of eating of my current diet. I have changed some things around. Um, I am doing a little bit more of a liquid diet right now in this off season, um, but it's working and I'm enjoying it. Um, so I'll bring that to you guys in the next coming video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Um, like I said, I just wanted to kind of wrap up where I was with the last push since I kind of started that push with y'all um, and let you guys know what I'm doing now with the test and primo cycle and then um, with the current new split with the push ball, arms, legs, rest, repeat. Uh, but I also am in a new gym now too that um, I will be filming a lot more training content for you guys and kind of showing you my philosophy behind training and how I do high intensity bodybuilding and all that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please smash that like button, hit subscribe, be happy, be positive, be powerful. Have a great rest of your day.